the kids that race him don't like him. They want to beat him so bad. If you've got any, like, ego around, like, he's not working hard, he's just been given everything, they just went the staff for money, like, I hope none of his competitors think like that because he's going to f***ing destroy those people that doubt him. Riding for Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha, number 238, Hey what he thinks about everything. <laughs> For sure, everything's a toy to him. Our wheel tap on, and then they want to, they, they think they can three off this. 450, I know you could, but yeah. 250, I don't think you three and off. So you could go wheel tap, wheel tap, and then on off, yeah. I think it's just going to be like a, a, a roll double, yeah. wheel tap, whatever you want, yeah. and then on off three. Land tight, roll the inside, roll double. So wheel tap, on, off, triple, probably. I'll go double, double in that pocket, and then you think you four? Double, double Jump in, that in there, four. Mm, I don't know. You'll be trying to create a lot of speed off of the little one. Yeah. I'm not, walk, I'm not walking over that double triple. Yeah, awesome man. Hey, yeah. good luck today, dude. Thank you. You're Thanks. whipping it out there. Thank you. We're just everybody's so impressed Thanks. with them. You too. Yeah. Yeah, have fun, dude. Number 14. All right, I'll watch. I don't remember what year, but the the most difficult sand section I've ever ridden was at the strike. Wow, oh, that dude, is tight. That's pretty tight. We're just gonna no, we're gonna make a super tight, tight line. Run. Yeah. Just make it tight run. Yeah. Cause there's no, there, it's all even, all the sand's even. There's no reason to hit that part. When the crazy thing is, there's nothing under it. Yeah. It's just sand, sand. forever. Yeah, you'll just make it inside. That will become the inside. That's the outside, cool. though, you could. <laughs> I feel like outside's gonna be better because you'll carry that speed on the straightaway. Did you get tired at the end of the main, or were you no, pretty good? I ain't tired at all. I don't, I don't know, I just don't get tired. I don't you're get loose either. the whole time. Right, because you just ride loose, which yeah. is good. I was, yeah, that's exactly, I wasn't like trying to lay down heaters, I was just riding smooth. You almost killed yourself after the wolves. Oh, that even was, that yeah, was, that was sketchy. My foot came off. Even that was good though. Yeah. When your foot comes off and you explode yourself oh, yeah. into a seat bounce like that, yeah. most people couldn't save that. It's able to save it. Yeah. yeah. And especially that deep. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh. <laughs> awesome. How do you do your thing? Do you like, how do you sign it? Brian Andy, you can just play like Brian. Look up to me while you're signing for one more, so I get your face in there. There we go. Nice. The Deegan above the Hudson. It's okay. <laughs> so we made it to Tampa. Yeah, it's been a long week at King of the Hammers, and went out there and got a race in the rocks and desert. It was pretty gnarly. Uh, jumped in, got the uh, Can-Am dialed, and was able to finish fourth overall in my class, which was pretty good, like considering that was my second time at it. Uh, I definitely could have used a little more, I'd say pre-running and time out there. Uh, for sure, next year we'll do that. Uh, but was able to fly in here just in time to catch Hayden's second Supercross here at Tampa. And it looks like the track's good. Uh, he didn't get to ride press day, but um, today he'll go out for the first time on the track. And uh, the track looks like a good track. Really long whoop section, so that will be a separator. Sand section will be a separator. And it looks like rain right around uh, a main event time. Which, honestly, for Hayden, at this point, you know, this is a learning year. I'd be a little more nervous if it was like we had to do good in the points with rain coming. But rain, anything can happen. 
win, right? You could have a great night. It could be that breakthrough night, or it could be that off night that just you struggle in the mud. But I, I don't know. I like when t- uh, conditions get tough. I think Hayden shines in those conditions. And um, you need to get those. You need to get those, especially learning years. You want to have the toughest conditions you can get learning. Um, but overall, it should be a good night here in Tampa. It's nice. It's warm out. It's not cold. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Then uh, back home tomorrow. So, that's what it is.
uh, getting ready for the main event. Uh, I think today went good. Like I said, we got to stick to the game plan of just get laps. Uh, I can't get ahead of ourselves, you know. I feel like Hayden doing good in the first round gets everyone excited. Hey, let's go. We can, we can do this. Like, I agree. Like, it's a good sign. But let's stick to the game plan. Just get laps, log laps, be smart, finish the race. Uh, top 10, still the goal. Um, really, I mean, if he runs 8th to 10th, cool. I don't, like, in a day and gets the laps, good for him. And we leave here and, and learn, cool. Uh, that's totally fine, you know. Uh, gets a few more gate drops. Uh, you know, I had a bad crash in practice, and it's part of racing, you know. He jumped, it was weird, he jumped the double before the trip on his front end, like, I think he tried to scrub me, like, clipped the, the jump, and it sent the bike into a full sideways pitch, and it shot him into the hay bale, uh, or the tough block, before the jump of the triple. And he flew over the triple, and thank God, he rolled out of it. He, like, flipped all the way, and almost hit his head, and rolled his head back, but he perfectly got it, and landed on the back of his head and the back of his neck, which was better than landing on the front and scorpion. And so he actually rolled out of it pretty good. But I hate to see that, you know, having a big crash like that in the last practice is not the best thing mentally going into a main event. But uh, like I said, get back to the game plan, just get a good start, have fun. And uh, I think it'll be a good race. I think he'll be fine. It's rain, starting to rain now. And the rain could be an equalizer. He could go out and just have the best race of his life, or it could go sideways. That's part of mud, part of racing in the slick and mud. But it is a good experience. I'd rather him race in the mud, in the rain, when it doesn't really matter. Like, if it was next year or the year after, say, he was in the points battle and we just have to do good, I'd be a little more nervous about the rain. But it's good. I'm glad it's raining. It will give him a little more experience in the rain, you know? We'll take it while we can and uh, move on, dude. So, uh, man, racing goes quick. I just got back from King of the Hammers, and like I said, it, like the days go by so fast, and just have to enjoy the moments. That's why I enjoy like being around positive people, doing positive things, and um, this is why I enjoy, like I said, racing all the time. You're around a bunch of like-minded people, and we have a ton of fans here, so it's cool. It's all good. Let's go racing. You pumped? Yeah, I'm pumped. I hope the rain holds off, but that's just another element. Everyone's got to deal with it. If it's hammered and the bikes are muddy and the everything's destroyed, it just gives me something to do. So I like it.
That's sick. Oh, my tailbone. I went to three and one lap before the whoops, and I had to skip the rut, and I hit a low line. Oh, I thought I broke my tailbone. And then I come in the whoops, my rear grabs an edge, and I saved it. Yes. That was sick. That feels so good to win again. Oh. That's 